In the last tutorial, we learned how to move the origin point of the moon to the center of the Earth and then apply a rotation. In this case, we're actually going to draw an animation path that we want a drawing to follow. So we'll get the Earth and the moon to move around the sun. To start, let's create a new layer above the Earth layer. I'll double click it and give it a name of Earth Orbit. I'll set a property called Type to a value of animation, which indicates that this is an animation path. Give it a direction of forward and a duration of 10 seconds. I'll use the ellipse tool to draw the path that I'd like the Earth and the Moon to follow. So I'll get it to center there about on the Earth. And although this path won't render in the final canvas, I like to remove its fill and give it a light gray stroke just so I can see it in my Illustrator document. So now that I've drawn the Earth orbit path, I need to associate the Earth layer with that path. So first I'll change the origin point of my Earth to its center, and then add a property called Animation set to Earth Orbit to associate it with that orbiting path. I'll do the same thing for the Moon layer by adding Animation Earth Orbit and click OK. Now when I export this document, and I'll overwrite our prior tutorial file, I should see the Earth and the Moon moving along the path over a duration of 10 seconds around the Sun. So let's get the rocket to move as well. So just like I did for the Earth, I'll create a new layer. I'll double click the layer and I'll call it Rocket Path. I'll say its type is also an animation its direction is also forward, and its duration is 10 seconds. I'll zoom out one level because I'd like the rocket to start outside and end outside of the actual star field. I'll use the pen tool to start somewhere out here. I'll go above the sun, maybe take a little sweep, and then end somewhere out here outside the document. Like I did with the Earth and the Moon, I'll rename the rocket layer so that its origin point is in its center, and its animation path is called Rocket Path. Now the additional property I'm going to add here is called Follow Orientation 90, and this indicates the direction of my drawing layer along the path, 90 degrees. Now my rocket doesn't happen to be at 90 degrees right now, so I will rotate it so that it is pointing straight up, which is the 90 degree rotation. Now I'm going to take the stars layer and add another property called crop. Crop, yes. And what this says is when it exports to actually make the canvas crop at the bounds of the star layer. So now when I choose file and export, and again I'll overwrite the layer, I should have a rocket that follows that path and its follow orientation points along the direction of that path and it takes 10 seconds to do it. You'll also notice that it started outside the bounds of the star field and it ends outside the bounds of the star field and then it repeats again. So what we've seen in this tutorial is that you can create motion paths and assign drawing layers to follow those motion paths and you can also set up follow orientations so that your artwork will follow the orientation of that path.